Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. Well, today we are getting ready to drop off these stinky peacocks. Um, we started our journey yesterday. Um, we're fixing to reveal who we're fixing to uh, actually drop this peacock off to. And then we're going to uh, go drop the emus off and we're going to trade those for some goats. Um, it's all about bartering. That's one thing that I've learned in the world of animals is everybody's about bartering. No, there's no mo uh, hand money exchange. So um, that's really awesome. So guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoy this video. If you think you know where we're at or where we're going, leave it in the comment box. Be honest now. So um, anyways, hope you enjoy. No, that ain't Mary. Meet your boyfriend. <laughs> 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 No, that's his, like, delivery. Oh, she's just playing now. Is she hiding? Well, like, like you just seen there, we just dropped off the peacock. Um, Brandy has been looking for a peacock for some time now. They've looked everywhere, Amazon or on Craigslist. Um, like you said, this year it's been so hard just to find a uh, hen peacock. I know they're called something else, but I'm new to this, getting used to it. But um, so from here, we are fixing to take another trip down to another friend and we're going to drop off the emus so hopefully you know where we're going by now if so leave it in the comment box um we're it's been awesome to get to see dutch and brandy and the kids and drop the animal and stuff off so um follow us along you find a bunch of them casein you did you like that yeah you like fishing we might have to go do that one day. <laughs> what? That's fine. We can clean them off. All right, guys, I'm not going to make you wait any longer. We are headed to Kevin and Rachel's with Hidden Hide Farm. Um, we've had this plan for about two weeks now. We set this date up um, to spend the evening with uh, Kevin and Rachel. And just yesterday, um, I saw that there was a peacock uh, hen for sale so I sent it to Dutch and I was like hey here's a peacock hen for sale and he's like oh really when are you going to be coming up and I said well just so happens we're going to be coming up tomorrow to deliver some animals to uh, Kevin and Rachel so he's like man can you go ahead and bring them up um, so luckily um, they had a little bit of free time um, you know it wasn't planned we got to go through the house and see the house and stuff so it was absolutely amazing um, they was putting a new roof on, which you've probably already seen the video, but we'll see the video uh, by the time we get home. We had a great time visiting with Dutch and Brandy, and, um, you know, maybe there's another time that we have a little bit more free time. We can stay a little bit longer, but I knew we was on a tight schedule. We was wanting to get to meet with um, um, Gary and Cassie, but they've, they've got a busy day as well. So if we can work some time in there, we're going to definitely try it. But um, we're going to go ahead and head up the road and deliver these animals. <laughs> so she was telling me, um, oh, you had to ride with them in your car. The you had to ride day. with emus oh. and peacocks. Oh, I really God. liked riding with the emus. They sound like Tweety Bird. Do they yeah. Really? It, yeah. It, yeah, that yes. was cool. Like say, we was actually picking these up and going to stay in Tulsa last night, but once we got the peacock in there, oh my gosh. No, that's the worst smell <laughs> ever. It is. Yeah. You remember the peacocks when we had them in the coop? Yeah. Yeah, Kaysen was, Caleb, grab that one. <laughs> <laughs> They're just little babies. Yeah. So it's almost as big as a chicken already. Gosh. Yeah. That is crazy. Oh, oh. <laughs> what do you think, Ski? Huh? It's you... amazing. <laughs> That's crazy. Bring that, Caleb. Cool. Well, we appreciate y'all bringing them all this oh, way. You're more than welcome. Yeah. Now they, ride, now they got to yeah. ride. Now they got to ride home with some goats. Yeah. Yeah. 
Are you, are you ready for that? Because they're probably going to be screaming. Yeah. <laughs> now they will for a minute and then they'll probably be quiet. Then they'll be quiet? Yeah. Awesome. They'll lay down. Well, you want to oh, put them in the shop? Yeah. So I think, I think the eggs I sent Cassie last go around are something kind of like those, that, that color. They haven't hatched yet, have they? No. No. They should be hatching any time. No, this one ain't the boy. Yeah, it is. That's a good boy. He wants to lay on you. That's a good boy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Brandon, don't she got that attention. This is my attention. Taught <laughs> me a pretty girl. Wow. He is a lot bigger in person. He's still growing. He's so sweet. How old is he? Uh, he's about 14, 15 months. Wow. Did Don't you like? Go? I want some attention too. Sorry, Ghost, we ain't got no food. We're oh, don't you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so these are our Kiko and our Spanish goats. Kiko and Spanish. Yeah. Now, do you have the fainting goats as well? Nope. Nope. We're the one that we wanted to get a fainting goat really? just to kind of have, but Good. we never could find any that was reasonably priced. Right. <laughs> Is the black ones? Um... They're the same type. They're just one's the, the gold based and one's black. Okay. Two is gold based. The male yet. or female? I don't know. Don't yet. know that yet. All right, guys. Look at some of these exotic chickens we're going to be taking <laughs> home with us. That's neat. I love the the gold ones. Yeah, they're pretty. We got some hens over there that are gold adults. Wow. We have made it back from uh, lunch. We went and had lunch with uh, um, Kevin and Rachel and the kids. We had a really good time and uh, we just made it back. And I see Mojo over here. And if y'all, I know y'all probably watch uh, Kevin and Rachel's channel, Hidden Heights Farm. If not, you definitely gotta go check it out. Um, great uh, content, especially about goats, animals, chickens. So we're going to be taking home some animals two different types but um steph's gonna go pick them out but mojo over here um if you have seen him in a video the video doesn't explain how big he is he is the size of one of our little bitty ponies i bet you that dog weighs anywhere from 150 to 175 pounds he is extremely extremely big healthy so um anyways um, may have some footage of that of them actually um, me actually playing with him earlier uh, I know we did with the, the newer dog so here in just a second we're going to go around here and check out some other goats and uh, see if we can pick out a couple goats and take them back home I will say uh, everything looks backwards in the uh, videos this is the first time we've been up to Kevin and Rachel's house um, like I said, is everything's backwards. It was even backwards at Dutch's earlier. Um, we stopped by there and dropped off the peacock. Um, they'd been looking for one. And luckily we found one and um, their male peacock has a mate now. So here in just a second, once Kevin and Rachel gets outside, we're gonna go down here and uh, check out the goats. Um, <clears throat> he has the other uh, meat goats over here on this side and then the they have the Spanish and Kiko out here in this uh, field out here by the mountains. This view is absolutely awesome. I've always loved the view of the trees in the background. Let's see if we close up, get a close up up here. This is for you, Maria, with Twisted Bee Minis. Check out the irises. I am able to identify irises now. Um, watch this not be an iris, but now i've learned all about irises from you marie i can identify them what kind of iris is that um that is a, a purple one cherokee purple iris like cherokee purple iris yeah marie this is these are the irises from here at cherokee nation these are called cherokee purples not a tomato an iris Really? I just made that up, but uh, it sounds good. Start calling them <laughs> I don't know anything about irises except um, my grandfather passed away two years ago and they were going to sell his property. And my grandma planted these same irises there like 40 or 50 years ago. And then before they sold the property, me and Rachel went and dug some of the bulbs up and oh, brought really? them up here and replanted them. That's awesome. So that's pretty, though. Yeah, they're pretty. 
What you got there? A little bit of feed? Yeah, we're, we'll get some of these goats up here and see which one you want to pick out. Or two of them, actually. Sounds good. There's the little ducks. And if y'all remember seeing them in Kevin's video, these are the ones he went and picked up at the post office the other day. And look how big they've got. Them ducks and geese grow fast. Yep, ducks and geese. Alright. So, the only one I want to keep is for sure is Bambi's daughter. That's the only girl I know of. I like Cammy's daughter too, but I don't know how many girls she's got. We got a little teacup. She's Ebony's daughter. Because Ebony has twins now. Bambi's got Bambi's got twins. What about that and right there coming? That and right out there on the hill. I think that's a boy. That's a boy? Yep. We can look. That's a pretty color. They're all crying because they left oh, them. The She's the one that had the broke leg. This one? She's Dusty. getting around good. Yeah. Wow. So a lot of these colored up ones will be boys. Oh, really? Yep. All the prettiest ones are always the yep. boys. Almost always. If always? The smaller goats are a lot more playful. Yeah. But they're just white, you know, they're not really. Come on, go! Come on, go! Alright. Come on, go! Is this the one you're keeping? That's, I think, that's the one that, Cammy? that's Cammy's daughter. This one? That one you can take. Okay. If you want. This is a girl. That's a brother and sister right there. That's right a girl. There. That's, that's her daughter that I want to keep. This, this is the one we want to keep for sure. Okay. This one, um, yeah. Okay. So I'm this oh, one's this a girl. One's she's a little bit one. bigger though. But, uh, and that one there, she's a girl. You can pick her up and see what she looks like. No, oh, that's no, a, a boy. Never mind. <laughs> what about that light colored one? Is that a boy? Yeah. One of them. One of them. That yeah. little one's getting slaughtered. Yeah, this is a girl oh, right here, but she's a little bigger. That's Tico. Is this one you want to keep? You can take her if you want. Her mom. She's not gonna get very big. No, nope, she won't get. She won't be a big goat. She's just been tiny. She's like a runt. There's nothing wrong with her. She's yeah. just a smaller goat. Just... You like this one? Yeah. She's got, a, was that the got, one you pointed out earlier? She, yeah, she's got the decorations. Oh, she's got the, what do you call these? Waddles. Waddles? Yep. Her mom's right here. That's her mother. Oh, really? Yep. So is she going to have the long hair like that one? Yeah, uh, she could. Yeah, I think she will because it looks like she's already kind of getting it. We have way more boys. Than yeah. Yeah. And she's also got a mohawk. She looks like a pony. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. She has she has black right here, but it goes bomb like a it's the weirdest thing. This one's a girl. Yeah. Oh, uh, really just co color. Just color? color. Yeah. What color do you have mostly? They're spotted. Like a dark? Or? Um just uh like the two that we was getting them for, one is a black I mean it looks like a cow. It's black and white. You want a lighter color or what? Yeah. She's a little younger. Look at its eyebrows. Oh, she looks she looks kinda <laughs> kinda scary like a clown. Yeah, I think uh <laughs> that's kinda uh, cool. This and the reason why is this will go good with uh Moo Moo and Coco. Okay. Yeah, they're about probably about the same age. So so you're gonna choose this one? Yep. And then teacup. Guys, you guys remember teacup? She was teeny tiny. She may have been the smallest no, ever born here at Hidden Heights Farm. And this one is super special to yeah. us, so I'm really glad it's going... And Skeeter, Ethan. Yes, I'm really glad it's going to a good family because my mother named this one. Oh, yeah, one. that's right. So, oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, so she yeah. named this one, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to go to awesome. a good yeah. home. We just have to give this one a name then since we yeah. got Moo Moo, yeah. Coco, Teacup. Tea what? Oh, you're... Yep. <laughs> I think that one's the sibling for that one. So it's crying because you got his sister. Oh. Sure you don't want to keep that one? 
<laughs> We've got the goats loaded. Stephanie picked out what goats she's wanting to take back. Um, and we're also going to be taking back some uh, baby chicks. Not babies, they're a little bit bigger now. So uh, Kevin's actually cutting some holes out of some boxes so they can have some air. And like I say, it's about a four hour drive home. Um, so hopefully they'll do just fine. So when we you get home, cold we'll... AC. Yeah, That's all yeah, that yeah, they're going to have AC. So they're going to be uh, just perfect. So. All right, guys, so uh, everybody kept asking why we were hatching those Polish chickens, and that's the chickens that got the mohawk looking thing on top of their head. And we didn't really have a reason why we were going to hatch them. We just had the Polish rooster and the Polish hens, and they're two different colors. So we just, when you got an incubator, it get, gets kind of addicting to stone eggs in there and seeing what they hatch out to be. Well, this is what they, whoa. Fast. Well, and we knew Brandon was coming. We thought, oh, this will be a fun yeah. extra to send them Okay, home so here yes. is one of them. That is awesome. She's got quite the hairdo, and she's got the gold lace wing feathers. Or feathers everywhere, actually. And Kevin loves them so much that I actually cut his hair to match earlier. <laughs> <laughs> here, I'll give you this because they're going to try to jump out. Let me see your haircut so you no, can tell. Yeah. Not. So Let I was getting see. a haircut in the middle of uh, Brandon and Stephanie driving up the driveway, and they text say, hey, we're on your... We're on our way, so my haircut's not complete. But after we get done fixing it, I will show you later. I promise. <laughs> okay, I got another gold lace. They sure are funny. These look like little crows almost. <laughs> they do, don't they? Except they're hairs. I think they're about six weeks old. Six. They eat a lot too. They take a bottle in the morning and a bottle at night. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> These things, I've always wanted some of them, especially the gold ones. Um, which we got some silkies and some showgirls. Oh. And I love those. Some, uh, I don't know what you call the other ones. Well, the showgirls are kind of ugly. Yeah. Yeah, they are. I like the silkies. They're probably some of my favorites. Yeah, they're, they're pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, there's your tree. Crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> well, by then, hopefully, we'll have some uh, lace and eggs. <laughs> Look at that turkey. The geese are pretty. I like the little Benny roosters. All right, guys. Right there is the mama and the daddy. Huh? So that, that rooster's name is Boris Johnson. I don't know if you know who that is or not. Uh-uh. Boris Johnson is the Prime Minister of England. Uh-huh. Or United Kingdom. And he's got some funky hairdo, kind of like that rooster there. <laughs> and these girls' hair looks weird because they got all wet the other day out here standing in the rain. And uh, I guess they didn't dry their hair or something. I don't know why they look like that. <laughs> it looks weird. That is crazy. That is absolutely neat. Yep. So guys, that is mama and daddy to the babies we're fixing to take home. Their head looks weird. They do. They got and that's the their entrance they there using the right. chicken run. One of those, uh... Remember the, the birds that we hatched um, here a couple weeks ago and said they come from Hidden Heights Farm? There is mama and daddy to them as well. I like their beards. <laughs> that is absolutely you awesome. A, you got a friend right behind you. Hey, buddy. Kind of jump on your back. Wow. Look at the white face. That's the one that broke her yeah. leg. She's been in the barn for eight weeks. She finally got out about two weeks ago. You can't even she's really tell it. To break it again. Oh, that was crazy. I thought I had a stroke. Her limp just now went away this week, though. That is awesome. I love that view. Maybe it was it yesterday or two days ago? Two days ago. So does so most of yours have around. twins? Yeah. See, I love that color right there. <laughs> Absolutely love that color. Yeah, that's rare. And they're almost always boys. That one's crying because you got its sister in the car. So they really notice that they stuff. Do. <laughs>
He said you petted me earlier. I'm gonna come to you first. Oh, he's so big. The kids ride him. I know. It does. I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy, Mojo. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Mojo. You better hurry. Okay. Is there egg in it? <laughs> I don't have a whole egg, but I put it in there. The egg's what keeps this coat shiny in it. Yeah. All right, guys. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Um, we have had a awesome day um, with Rachel and Kevin. Um, like I said earlier, they took us out to lunch. Um, we had a, such an amazing time uh, just visiting and fellowshipping and just, just talking about life and family. And they are such great people. Um, really really great people and um, I feel very honored that um, we was able to do a animal swap um, that was pretty cool you know um, I can't not only that is like I said before is you know uh, Marie with Twisted Bee Minis has definitely um, helped us out so much with the animals and um it, it's been awesome it really has but anyways hopefully it's still daylight by the time we make it home and we can do a little bit of filming letting uh, goats out at their new place so um if not we'll film it tomorrow all right guys i don't know if you can tell or not but our pigs escaped we're gonna have to get some more wire they Looks like they tore this all up. Alright, come on. Come on, guys. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go put my back, my shoes back on. That's alright. You have Crocs on. Yeah. You give them enough feed so they stay there a while? Yeah. <laughs> I love these pigs. We do. Because they're I, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know where Rooster's at, though. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Mr. Hotshot? No, that that bundle of just regular wire. Don't, don't touch the fence, okay? It's hot. That's cutie pie. Don't be ugly. Don't be ugly. There's that baby back there. There's that baby right there. Where? Addison. <laughs> All right, guys. We have made it back to Eddie Family Farm. It's been a long drive. We've had a great day. Like I said, is all good things must come to an end. I hated it. Um, we had so much fun to sit down and visit with uh, Kevin and Rachel. Not only that, we stopped by Sean's and Brandy's first and dropped the peacock off. And, it was just so nice to get to see them again. We haven't seen them since the Homestead Expo. Um, so that was pretty cool. We got to visit with them a little bit, but they super busy trying to get the house up and going. Dutch had to go get some more materials because uh, this was a last minute deal uh, with me finding the peacock and everything. But um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the goats in, see how they do. Uh, don't touch that fence. Yes. This little girl is name is Teacup. And there's a story behind this one and we will tell y'all at a later time as life goes on with this little girl. She's going to produce some beautiful babies. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put her in there and see what happens.
Uh -oh, don't touch that fence. They always gotta do their business when they go somewhere new.